I'm going to show you how to create text around a circle, some text being on the top of the circle, around the outside of it, and then some text being on the outside of the circle at the bottom. I have Inkscape open here. This is what it looks like for me when I open it. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to create a circle. I'm going to hold down control and drag out so I get a perfect circle. Then I'm just going to make uh, my circle 10 inches. I need to close uh, my lock there. Turn that to inches and my dimensions 10 inches. So that's going to be the um, border circle, I guess. So now I'm going to make another circle. I'm just going to duplicate this one. And I'm going to make this circle about 8 inches. And you can make these um, as large or small as you want to make them. Okay, so now that I have my circles made, I'm going to put the text around that center circle. Um, I just aligned the two together, um, centered and uh, vertically and horizontally. So now I need to create my text. It helps if you use, uh, I think it helps if you use all tech, uh, caps. I'm just going to type out text on top. I'm going to go over here to my text and font editor. Uh, you can find this in your um, menu up here too, but it's already open for me. Um, you can also click on it right there. Um, let's see, I'm just going to choose Arial. Let's just go with Arial. Arial Black, I'm going to use that. I'm going to change, I'm going to click Apply, and then I'm going to change the size to about 56. Let's see if I like that. Yeah, I think that'll work fine. Okay, so now that I have my text, I'm going to have my text selected and the inside circle selected because that's, this, that's the path I want my text to bend around. Then I'm going to go up to text and I'm only going to click put on path. Now I need to turn my text so it's at the top. So I'm going to click off everything. I'm going to, I'm going to click the circle twice and then turn it so my text is on the top of the circle. And I want to make sure the bottom of my text on each side is aligned. So I'm going to pull down a guide bar. and just turn it until I get it the way that I want it to look. I think that looks good. So I'm going to get rid of my guide bar. I just select it and click delete. Now to finalize the look of this text, I'm going to click on the text, go up to path, object to path, and now it's finalized and I can move it. And I actually want to move it up a little bit. So I'm going to hold down the control key to keep it where it's at, uh, centered where it's at, and I'm just gonna pull it up a little bit so it's off the line. And now I have my text on the top of my circle. So now I need to create text on the bottom, but have it look like it's on the outside of the path instead of on the inside. So I'm going to copy the inside circle. I'm just going to paste it down here to work with it down here. And the first thing we need to do is make this circle bigger. So I'm going to go with about nine inches and start there. Now I need to create my text again. Text on the bottom. 
I'm going to change it to Arial. Back to 56. Apply. Go to Selection Tool. There's a little arrow, Select and Transform Objects. With my text selected and my larger circle now selected, going to Text, put on Path and it automatically goes to the top of the circle. Click off, click only the circle, and then I'm going to flip it vertically. So you can see that it's still on the inside of the circle, but that's fine. I'm going to select the inside of my circle on the original piece. I'm going to center it. Okay, and now I'm just looking for if I like how it looks on the path. And I think I want my nine inch circle to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to click off everything. I'm going to select just my nine inch circle. And I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Up here in the dimensions, I'm gonna make it about 9.25. and I'm going to center it back with the inside circle. And I like that a little bit better. All I'm looking at is down here. But you can see that it's pretty squished together. So we need to create some spaces between each letter. So select the text again, click back over here on your text tool, and then up here, where it says spacing between letters, I'm just going to hold down that plus until this looks the way that I want it to look. I'm trying to match the spacing between each letter to the spacing that's already there on the text on the top of my circle. And I think that's pretty close. So now I'm going to pull, I'm going to go to my selection tool. I'm going to pull down another guide and just make sure everything looks lined up and that looks good. So I'm going to get rid of my guide bar. Now I need to finalize my text. So with only my text selected, I go to text. Sorry, I go to path, object to path and it's finalized. Now I can get rid of my nine and a quarter inch circle. I just select it and delete it. And there we have it. Now I wanna pull this down a little bit so it's kind of in the center of my two circles there like the one on the top. So with my text selected, I'm gonna hold down control and move it. And there we have it. So now we have text on the top around the outside of a path and we have text on the bottom around the outside of the path, which is how I wanted it to look. Um, but technically it was on the inside of the path. Uh, this is the fastest, uh, most efficient way that I have found to be able to make the text on the bottom look like it's around the outside of the path. Okay, if there's anything else you'd like to see um, or, you know, the most efficient way possible to do something. I try to do everything efficiently as possible. Let me know in the comments um, or if you've, you know of a different way to do this that's easier than the way that I did it now, please let me know because I would love to know if there's a better way. All right, thank you for watching and I hope this has helped.